These are super luxurious men's fragrances for fall. I've got 10 of them for you today and they are all warm but some of them are also a bit fresh so that they are not too heavy. They've still got some projection in them and they are just solid good fragrances that everybody will love on you. I've put them according to my liking, so I'm starting with my favorite and going to my top, top favorite for this fall season. Let's start with Vidian Luban. This scent is just how the bottle looks. It's incredibly creamy and I love this fragrance because although this is supposed to be like an oody, rosy, cedarwood, tonka bean sort of a scent, sometimes when I look at the notes, the fragrance doesn't fully uh, smell like the notes. Notes. This is one of those. This is so intriguing. In the notes you look and you're like, oh, this is like a basic oud. No, it's not. This is such an ambery, soft, creamy, a bit spicy, a bit herbal oud that is just addictive. It's so good. On the skin, it smells even better than on clothes. It just works amazingly. This is the Extrait de Parfum and it gives you that really luxurious, oily uh, feeling on the skin when you apply it, which just melts into your skin and makes you just smell so good. This is a fragrance for somebody who loves like hugging people and you want to just have the title of the best smelling guy. Like everybody will tell you, oh my gosh, you smell amazing because this is that cozy, really just sensual, soft fragrance that is just so good. Okay, for the next one, this is a bit different friend. This is a bit up the list because although all these scents are, you know, the best of the best and I only recommend you the best fragrances, this one has got a bit more of that manliness, that rawness. It is also an oud scent. I find that fall and winter is where oud just shines. Oud Aquilaria from Oman Luxury. This scent, I have to just spray it, the atomizers are absolutely fabulous on these. And the scent itself, it's this really rich wood that is also very fresh, almost like aquatic. It's rosemary, it's rosemary, it's a lot of patchouli, some rose in there, but overall, this is like a very herbaceous oud that usually is not something that you find very often for oud fragrances. So this is very different. This is like Armani Aqua Di Gio had a super niche brother. This would be it because you get a bit of smokiness. You get loads of patchouli that makes you just smell addictive and really sexy. But then you've also got the rosemary a bit of like bitter greenery that is for example in something like Dior Sauvage Elixir this is this fragrance it's just smells super masculine very unique and lasts a huge amount of time so I can wholeheartedly recommend this one for you if you want like your signature for cologne next up we're getting closer on to this list to my favorite this is a fable d'orient d'orion I don't know, <laughs> something like this from L'Artisan Parfumeur. The name is a long name, whatever, I'll link it down below for you. But the fragrance itself, it is so sexy. You know this, what this fragrance reminds me a little bit of? Armani Code, the opening of Armani Code that is a bit minty, it's vanilla, but it's so sexy, seductive and mysterious. This is this, but in like a super niche version. It is a bit minty. It is a bit irisy and powdery as well. It is just so classic, really addictive at the same time, projects super nicely. And this is the sort of a scent that everybody will absolutely love on you. This is not like niche weird scent. This is super crowd pleasing niche scent. Absolutely addictive women will love this is, uh, on you as well. This is like this designer sort of a DNA, but made niche, super good, really just amazing. And Atomizer is also amazing. Next up, we've got a Gisada fragrance and this is titanium and this scent, I love that Gisada fragrances are usually very, very strong and this one is for sure, but it's more of this 
super lavender, vanilla, uh, really aromatic like balsam fir, like walking through a forest, a bit of pepper, a bit of cinnamon in there. It's this really intense, creamy, lavender, really manly fragrance, but I love that although it's got that lavender, it's also got the smooth sandalwood and tonka bean that, you know, I love a creamy sandalwood. I think in a men's fragrance, it's like a winner. And to me, this gives this like this full vibe because it's a bit sweeter, but it's not obviously cloyingly sweet. Still keeping this fragrance really nice and masculine. Lasts a really long amount of time as well. And it's a strong, very nice fragrance. If you like your Parfum de Mali fragrance, Says, I think you'll love this because it's got a certain that vanilla is similar reminiscent to some of the Parfum de Mali fragrances like Alpha or like Herod. Next up we've got a very nice fragrance that I just discovered recently like in the last six months and it's such a huge obsession for me because I didn't like the original fragrances from this brand. I got all the samples and I usually don't tell you about fragrances that I don't like so you never knew that I even tested the whole line but I was like, oh, I don't like any of them. And then they came out with a new set of fragrances and I like every single one of them. So they listened and we've got Obvious Parfum Malfa Walls. This scent, it's just, just grabbed me when I first smelled it. It's got this really in intense frankincense, bit of smokiness, load of black currant which just smells so raw and just grabbed my attention straight away and it's also a very st strong like dry leathery scent with thyme with a bit of uh, orange in there as well so you've got citruses to make it a bit fresher it's not just a leathery scent but it is a strong leathery scent with a lot of aromatics and that opening of black currant it's just to die for it's so unique so strong absolutely love it this is like a badass scent for fall so good just try it out <laughs> next up we've got a fragrance that to me this is a fragrance for somebody who loves fall fragrances you like woody fragrances and you like your super niche fragrances that uh, not everybody's wearing maybe you want something a bit more unique i find that this fragrance i rarely hear i've actually i've never heard anybody talk about it it's bois de chai from maison crivelli this fragrance i think goes under the radar it's not as popular some of the other ones but it is damn good this fragrance it is super herbal and woody it's also got black currant in here so maybe you're getting like a you know a theme here but that black currant it's a bit less intense than the previous version this is much more of i would say a natural smearing fragrance it just smells like you're walking in into the forest and you've got all these woods in there you've got gaiac wood which is one of my favorite woods it is also in uh, comte de garçon wonderwood i think which i'm absolutely obsessed with this is this really dry woodiness black currant in there with a bit of papyrus i find that this is also a bit tea like like it smells like black tea to me. This is a fragrance for somebody, I would say like super creative, sexy sort of a scent, really intriguing and just up my street. I don't think this fragrance is like crowd pleasing for every single person out there, but it is very intriguing and you've got to have taste to love this and um, you've got to have taste to appreciate it. So this is a fragrance for somebody like that. Now we're getting to my favorite, favorite luxurious fragrances for men and we have to start this uh, close-up of the four final fragrances with Omond Jane Montebacco. This scent recently smelled it on my husband and I was like what are you wearing? I couldn't tell what he was wearing because we got this like I think a month ago and uh, he hasn't worn it yet and he just found it and he just applied it so I didn't even know that he was testing this. I was like what are you wearing? You smell so good and ever since well he's been wearing it a lot <laughs> because this is such a good fragrance especially for now and a lot of you will absolutely love it because it's 
a freshie. On this list, this is a freshie, but it's perfect for fall because it's a freshie with a lot of substance. It is a tobacco leaf sort of a fragrance, but it's got a lot of fresh elements in there. It's got this orange bergamot. It's very fresh and airy. It's in the notes, I think it says mountain air, but it does totally smell like this. It's like a, this cooling mountain air. You just smell nature and then it settles down to this woody, uh, bit smoky but still fresh scent it's absolutely insanely good it's such a long lasting fragrance as well it projects um really nicely as well so if you want something fresh but with a bit more of a substance and that smells really luxurious for fall uh, this is so good yeah i it was for me a bit of a shock because i tested it on a scent strip and i thought yeah, yeah it's good but then my husband wore it and I was like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? Literally, if you want somebody to be that impressed with your scent, this is the one. Next up, Uja's Box Beat Cafe. This scent, it's just a show-stopping fragrance. It's so intense. It's got this vetiver, tobacco, coriander smell. and But it's also slightly creamy and very boozy with a lot of cognac and a, a lot of black pepper. So you hit with this blast of like this ambery cognac boozy deliciousness that is a bit like coconutty and then a lot of spices. And then you get to the bit of incense like tonka bean. It's such an intriguing scent. You'll just smell like you're at a speakeasy and everybody's just uh, just drinking those like liquors. And it's a scent of like a good time, but like, a, you know, you're listening to music, you're speaking with people, you're getting like motivated and you're loving your time. This is that sort of fragrance. It's just a good time. It reminds me a bit of like of a jazz club, that scent of like a bit of a cigarette smoke, a bit of uh, boozy drinks, but in this like classy way and not like pub, English pub uh, carpets, you know, not that sort of a scent. <laughs> Just this very good, fun fragrance. Such a good one. Nice longevity, a nice projection as well. It's not super, super loud, not like the next fragrance I'll be speaking about, but it's definitely there. It definitely has got like a good eight hours of longevity and a nice projection. So an amazing one, try it out. I'll also link samples for these because I know a lot of these niche fragrances are harder to find in like your Nordstrom, Ulta, wherever you are. So I'll link some samples for them so you can try them at home if you'd like. Now we're getting to my top two favorites. This one, it is a killer, okay? A woman killer fragrance. Makes me cringe saying woman killer, but you know, it's a marketing, whatever. But this, this fragrance, it is literally a woman killer sort of fragrance. It's Crystal Saffron by Mathia Premier. It's their new extra version. This is a powerhouse. It's super duper strong, okay? Sillage is out of this world. It's huge. It's such a head-turning fragrance. Oh my gosh, the saffron in here, it is so strong so captivating it smells a bit soapy clean as well which i love it's this rosy really strong saffron scent it's pretty linear i would say it keeps the fragrance very similar throughout the longevity but i love it because if the saffron was there in the beginning and then die down i would not be interested but this the saffron makes this fragrance it just gives you this super sexy confidence aroma around you it's such a strong masculine scent. If you love your really hyper strong fragrances, if you want your fragrance to last all day long and more, this is a fragrance for you. It's totally worth the price. I mean, this is just mind-blowingly good. And number one on this list is, I haven't smelled it on anybody. This is like this underrated gem that I don't get why this doesn't get more hype. This fragrance it's so super unique it pierces through 
any other scent in the room. This fragrance will guarantee you compliments. It's so fun, it's crisp, but it's also got a nice substance to it. So it's perfect for fall. It is Paragon from Inisho and this scent tried out the plum in here. It's so realistic. It's almost like a vegetal, it's citrusy, it's juicy. Man, is it good. Oh, this scent gives you that oodiness, but you don't really smell a lot of wood in here. It's more of this really strong, woody, uh, Palo Santo plum fragrance that is just phenomenal. It will get you compliments. I'm telling you, it's so unique, so exciting and perfect for day to day because it gives you that crispy cleanliness, that juicy plum. It's just everything, but then it will last and project. And if you're somebody who likes going out, this is also a very loud fragrance. If you wanted to just apply more of it and it will be a screaming fragrance. It literally pierces through any other scent. This is just an absolutely amazing scent. If you have not tried it, try it out and let me know what you think. I'm very curious because this scent, as I said, it's so underrated, but it's so, so good. So try it out and let me know what you think. What is your favorite super luxurious fragrance that you really enjoy wearing this time of the year? Let me know in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps my channel and I'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye.